is a spreadsheet with a dirty data problem. The spreadsheet shows data on stops and searches in one police force in the UK. And every row of this data shows one particular event where one person was stopped and searched. And the column that's of interest to us is this column here, column H, which shows the age range that the individual fell into. But as we look down the column, we can see that there's a problem. One of the entries in this column is not what we are expecting. Elsewhere in the column, we have age ranges like 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. But in these two cells here, we can see that it's not an age range. It seems to be some sort of date. In this video, then, I'm going to explain how to deal with this particular data problem, this data cleaning problem, and um, just using simple techniques of sorting and filtering how to fix that dirty data problem. So first of all, we know that we're going to need to replace these October 17 entries. What are we replacing them with? What are we cleaning them up to? Well, the reason why this is showing October 17 is that the actual age range that we are seeing here is 10 to 17. And we can test that hypothesis by adding a filter to our data. And to do that, we switch to the data view up here and we click on the filter button. And this will add a drop down menu to the top of a column. And it means that we can click on that drop down menu and see all the values, the unique values in this column. And we can see that we have 18 to 24, 25 to 34, over 34, and then this other category here. Well, we would guess that um, the category before 18 to 24 is going to be 10 to 17. And 10 to 17 is also one way of expressing October 2017. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, let me just find an empty cell for a moment. And I'll type in 10 17. Okay. So we can see what what's happened here is that Excel has interpreted 10 17 as a date. It thinks I mean the 1st of October 2017. So what we're going to need to do is change all of these uh, dates to age ranges. And the first thing we need to do is create a new column for the clean data. So we're not going to change the existing column. It's really important to keep a copy of that original data rather than change it directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that column, copy it, and I'm going to insert those copied cells to the uh, right of that column. And by the way, I'm right clicking on the tops of these columns here to do the copying and the pasting. So I'm right clicking on H and selecting copy, and then right clicking on I and selecting insert copied cells. So this is now a copy of our dirty data column. And so I'm going to change this title to age range cleaned. And that's going to make the, allow me to distinguish between the two columns. And I'm gonna highlight that as well. I'm gonna to go to the home tab and just fill it with a yellow color so I can see that this column is distinct from the others. The next thing I'm going to do then is to sort this column to see how many of these um, October 17 entries there are and bring them all to the top. To do that, I need to be in the data strip again across here. And I'm going to click on this A to Z button here, this sort button, um, and that will sort from the smallest to the largest or from A to Z. Uh, it will sort all of the data, A to Z, or zero to infinity, um, by this column. And so that's going to bring all of our dirty 
data to the top, all of the October 17 values, and we can see that there are quite a lot of them before we hit the first um, clean bit of data. Now, there's a, a very simple way of cleaning this up, which is that we are going to um, now filter this. So I'm going to click on that filter at the top that I added earlier, this drop down menu, and I'm going to deselect everything apart from um, these dates. So I'm going to tick 2017 and what that will do is it's only now going to show the rows with an October 2017 value in it. It's going to leave out the other ones which are clean. And I can test that by just skipping to the bottom of that column and I can see that 435 is the row with the last bit of dirty data and then there are some hidden rows which are filtered out and then 2319 is the first empty row. So to clean these up there's a very simple thing I can do which is um, I can select all of these cells and um, I can do that by just clicking on I and pressing delete I'm going to need to retype my heading again. And now I'm going to manually type 10 to 17. Now, if I type 10 17, I'm going to get the same problem again. So there are a couple of options I have here. One is I can type the, the, the phrase 10 to 17. And in this case, because there's no dash, it's now going to say, okay. I understand that you don't want to enter a date, but you are entering text. Um, there's another option as well, if I go back, which is I can format this cell as text, like so. And what it will do is it will change it to an, what looks like a number, which is the number of days since uh, the start of 1900. And if I type 10 to 17 now, it is going to treat that as text rather than a date because I've explicitly told it how I want this um, cell formatted. But a simpler way is to type 10 to 17. I'm going to go with that. And then I can copy it all the way down all of these empty cells that I've just um, created by deleting the dirty data. I can obviously uh, hover over the bottom corner and get this black cross and I can click and drag. But a quicker way of doing this is select the cell that I want to copy down, hover over that bottom corner again with the black cross. And once I see that black cross, if I double click, it will fill in all the way down until it hits the end, which is here. Now, this only works because I've applied a filter. As soon as I turn this filter off, I will see all the clean data that I've hidden while I've been doing my cleaning. So if I turn the filter off, I should now see all the other data as well. And as long as you're happy with 18 to 24 using a dash and 10 to 17 using the word two, then that's fine. If that annoys you then you can use the other approach that I outlined or indeed you could do a find and replace to make these other entries consistent but the main problem the main dirty data problem has been solved we had a series of cells that said uh, the 1st of October 2017 whereas what they really meant was the age range 10 to 17. Just to recap the process that we went through first of all creating a new column, a duplicate column of the data that we want to clean so that we leave a, a copy of our original untouched dirty data to be able to compare to. Secondly, we use filtering to get an overview of our dirty data, which bits are dirty, so is it just for one category? Thirdly, we sort the data to bring the dirty uh, entries together, then that allows us to filter just to that um, series of cells 
delete the dirty data and replace it with the, uh, a clean version of what it actually means.